Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. It's going to be a get ready with me, but before I get started with the get ready with me, I'm gonna do a haul of the items that I have here right in front of me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the video. We have some items from Shop Push, and then we have some items from Bad Habits. So I'll start off with the Bad Habit first, and I got this Aphrodite palette, which is one of my favorite palettes. I actually already own one of these, but it is so beat up because I literally love this palette so much. It's so pretty, and especially like the glittery colors down here, this row, they're beautiful and they're so gorgeous. So I picked up this one. I'm gonna be using this one for today's look, and then I picked up the Bad Habit Liquefied Matte Liquid Lipstick. These are so bomb, guys, especially this color. This is number three and centerpiece. It's one of my favorite lippies. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get another one. If I ever run out of the other one, I have a backup one. And then I have this Bad Habit Loose Setting Powder. If you guys watched the previous video about Bad Habit, you guys know that I gave this one a shot on my eyelids. But for today, I want to go ahead and give it a try underneath my eye area for a setting powder, what it's meant to be for. So I'm going to give this one a second chance. Then I also have a Bad Habit Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to try this one by itself, just wet. Because in the comment section, I was reading, everyone was like, well, you should just try the primer by itself without no powder so girl I got you I'm gonna do that for today and then these are the bad habit brushes it's the eight piece eye brush set and they look a little something like this so I'm gonna be using these as well too to just play a little bit with them and then stay tuned because you guys know that in the last video of bad habit I did say I was going to have a giveaway and the giveaway is still going on so today I'm going to announce the winner of the pretty poison palette and fun fact in the last video I kept saying it was called pretty potion and it's called Pretty Poison. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. But yeah, and if you guys, I wanted you guys to know that Bad Habit and Shop Hush is having a Black Friday deal. It starts on Thursday the 22nd at 6 p.m. And it ends on the 26th at 11.59 p.m. So take advantage of it on Bad Habit. They are having 30% off if you use my code. And the links to Bad Habit and Shop Hush is going to be linked down below. So make sure to click on the links, use my code, which is going to be in the description box as well. So they're going to have 30% off from Bad Habit and they're gonna have 25% off from Shop Hush. So take advantage of the Black Friday deal, girl, because they have some pretty good makeup. Now, from Shop Hush, they not only carry Bad Habit, but they carry other brands like Physicians Formula, Smolder Cosmetics, they carry Mellow, Maybelline, a whole bunch of brands. So take advantage of that 25% off with my code and click on the link down below that's gonna take you to Shop Hush. And okay, I got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys know that I'm hella obsessed with this bronzer, except this time I got it in light bronzer last time I got it in the wrong shade right oh no I got the same shade dude I was supposed to get medium bronzer Ay, Dios mio. it was supposed to be medium bronzer but okay <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I have a backup one because this one like mira It's like almost all out. I hit pan on this because it's so good And then I got the amber shell collection. I picked up the lip gloss in daddy So I got this one and then I got the 24 karat gold eyeshadow palette Bam, it looks like this I'm gonna be using one or two colors from here And then I'm super excited for her highlighting palette, which is this one her packaging is so dope It says a lot about her like this is so amber and then I got a no poor blam primer I get it like no Pore blem, no problemo. <laughs> Anyways, it's a primer, smooth and pore covering. I love testing out new primers. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna test this one out. I got a LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. You guys know that I'm obsessed with LA Girl. Like, literally, I have been so obsessed with them. So I was like, oh my god, I saw the brow pencil and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna give this a try. See if it works. And then I got these two from Smolder Cosmetics. Let me shake this one up so you can see. Oh, look at that one. It is so shiny and like if you spray this all over your body you're just like I'm that B. It's so pretty. So this is Lumi Do Hydra Mist. And this one's just like a clear one just to set your makeup, you know, and refresh your makeup or your face. And then this one is to like spray all over your body. Or if you want to be extra, go all for it. You can spray it all over your face. So I picked up these two. And then I got this Mellow Blush. I've been into blushes lately, so I want to give this one a whirl. And then the thing that I'm most excited about, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This the packaging is so cute. It has like a little unicorn. I'm gonna save this box for something else It's all in believing these are flutter lashes When I show you these girl, you're going to die. Look at the style of those lashes. They're so Gorgeous. Oh my god. I can I put both on <laughs> just kidding, but okay. I showed you guys 
all the products that I got. Now it's time to get ready. So I'm gonna start off with the primer, and this one is Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer, and this is a smooth and pore covering. So this is what it looks like. It comes with 1.01 full ounces. Like you get that extra 0.1 because <laughs> usually everything is like one full ounce. And this is what it looks like. I really like the bottle. It's glass, though. I'm like the clumsiest person in the world. So when something is glass, I'm so terrified, and I keep it in a specific case in case I ever drop it. It doesn't break so I like the packaging is really nice it's also like a matte bottle and I love that it comes with the cap because I can get pretty messy and like literally everything will squirt everywhere and then my makeup bag will be a mess but enough bobbering I'm gonna take some on my hand and test it out I was not expecting that it is super runny look at that do you see how it's running on my finger it feels it smells really good and it feels super Nice on the skin. Oh my god. Wow, this feels really nice. It honestly feels like I'm applying butter to my face. Don't ask me how I know what butter feels like on your face. And a little bit went a long way. Like literally, the two pumps that I did covered my entire face. So, okay, now I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to be using the LA Girl. This is the Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And this one, I got it in Espresso. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and comb out my brows. Story of my life, dude. I need to get my brows done. Uh, I'm always so busy that I legit forget to do my brows literally my brows are So bad like if you're Hispanic, you know who loco derbez is if you don't know who I'm talking about I'm gonna insert a picture here whenever I don't do my brows. That's how I feel like my brows look like I'm also super excited because Vlogmas is already here December is almost here Did I tell you guys that I'm going to Vegas on the 30th of November? No, it's not I'm not even on the 30th. I'm leaving on the 29th. I believe I think it's the 29th or the 30th, um, but I'm going to Vegas. I'm so freaking excited. I've always wanted to go. We're going to go for a total of two days, and I don't know what to expect. If you have ever been to Vegas, girl, please let me know what you did. What was like, what's like the most popular or common thing to do in Vegas? So let me know what should I do when I'm at Vegas? Is there any like fun activities or should I visit like a specific casino? We're actually going with Jason's brother and his wife, so I'm super excited. We're not going to be all by ourselves we're gonna be with them and i'm also super excited guys because we arrive on the first of december december the first we arrive here at the airport here in austin and i'm super excited one because it's my dad's birthday my dad is going to be 50 <gasps> my dad's gonna be 53 oh my god so it's my dad's birthday and also it's december the first so that means vlogmas starts that day which is a saturday and i'm going to be vlogging in vegas which that'll be great it's gonna give me like a little heads up but the thing is i'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna work everything out girl because I'm opening up back up the vlogging channel girl So no sé cómo hacerle like I don't know what to do I kind want to do vlogmas for the vlog channel and I kind of want to do vlogmas for I have to do vlogmas for this channel for my main one But I was telling Jason last night. I was like, what if I do vlogmas for the vlogging channel? And he said, okay, well then you won't do it for the main channel and I'm like no like I have to do vlogmas for my pita chips and He's like no, are you insane? Like that's ridiculous. You're not gonna be able to manage both channels with vlogmas and then I really sat down girl and I was like uh realistically hell no I'm not gonna be able to do vlogmas on both channels you know porque es imposible like I'm not gonna be able to do it I think I'm just going to do vlogmas on here on the main channel and then the vlogging channel will get one vlog a week okay guys so the rest of the concealer that I have on the brush I'm gonna put it on this eye because this eye I'm gonna do my regular routine with concealer and then over here in este ojo this eye my spanglish dude I'm just throwing it in here in the video Whatever. So in this eye over here, I'm going to do the Bad Habit Eyelid Primer. And then on here, I'm going to keep the concealer how I always do. Update. I didn't even tell you guys. The brow pencil, it's kind of flimsy. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, it's way too flimsy. And it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Can you see that? Like, you can hardly see that. And this is espresso. So it's not so pigmented. Like, you literally have to go in there and do that you see but it's so flimsy that i'm afraid it might break the brows are done i'm gonna take the bad habit the um eyelid primer and i'm going to apply a decent amount i think that should be good also guys i'm super excited because guess what i ordered i ordered 
the James Charles palette. Well, I didn't order it. So here's the funny story. Let me tell you. Okay, before I get move on with the story time, this is the concealer and this is with eyelid primer from Bad Habit. Now I'm going to be using this Aphrodite palette right here. So I'm going to be taking a Romance as a transition shadow, this one right here. And I'm going to be taking just a flat fluff. <sighs> And I'm just going to be taking a fluffy blur <laughs> and I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush to just blend everything out on the crease. Okay, so as I was telling you guys, story time. So I told Jason that James Charles was coming out with a palette. Well, Jason is like up to date on everything when it comes to makeup. He's like pretty good at it. Sometimes I'm like, damn boy, you should be a makeup artist. You know everything about makeup because he's like so into like the YouTube thing with me and stuff. He already knows so much about it. So he already knew that James Charles was coming out with the palette and you know, everyone was making a big deal out about it because it's like a pretty palette, you know? So I told him and I was like, I kind of want to get the brush set and I kind of want to get the palette, but it's super expensive. Expensive. We just kind of left it all that we were having a conversation and stuff and then um, I get home When was it? It was the day he released the palette. It was yeah It was the day he released the palette I get home because I had gone to freelance to do someone's makeup and I come back and he goes I ordered you something and I was like, oh, yeah I got a notification on my email on my Gmail, but I didn't open it because I didn't know what it was He goes, oh, I ordered the James palette for you. What you ordered the palette for me? He goes, yeah, I ordered it for you and I'm like no, you didn't. No, you didn't. He goes, yeah, I ordered the palette for you. And so I'm like, yay, thank you. Like, wow. That was like so unexpected. Like, I was not expecting him to buy me the palette or whatsoever even think about buying me the palette. And then, girl, to top it off, whew, let me tell you, to top it off, ¿Qué crees que hizo? Literally, he was like, I didn't, really get, I didn't only get you the palette. I got you the brush set. And I was like, shut the no, you didn't. No, you didn't. He's like, yeah, I did. And I was like, baby, you're the best. You're the freaking best. So I'm getting the brushes, like the whole brush collection and the palette. Super excited. <laughs> Super freaking excited, dude. Oh my God. You have no idea how excited I am to get that in the mail. Like I already got the shipping information, like the tracking number and stuff. And I'm literally tracking it every single day because I'm so excited for it. And obviously, as soon as I get it, like I'm going to film an unboxing for you guys. I'm going to be taking a seduction out. Now this is concealer and I blended really nice. And then as you can see, this is with the primer. This ball spot, do you see it here? I'm pretty sure you can see it like that. It does not pick up any color whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's not blending anymore. Like I think it's just the primer that is doing that. It's weird It's just see primers don't work for me girl. Not for me Okay, then we're going to be taking another blending brush and we're going to be taking seduction And we're going to put it on the outer corner of the eye then also guys I had vlogged a video here for this channel since you guys really liked like the day in life of a mom and stuff So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and upload another one But then I started thinking about it and I was like, I don't want to mix like my vlogs like my family vlogs with this channel here So I was like I'm gonna upload that vlog to the vlogging channel So stay tuned because we uploaded pretty soon and by the time you probably see this I want to upload it on Sunday So you'll probably see this one first and then the vlog will go up on Sunday, so stay tuned for that, but I'm super excited. I love vlogging. I really did miss it, like seriously. I miss it so much, and I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. For your Thanksgiving, what is your Thanksgiving consist of? Like, do you have like the traditional turkey and like the apple pie, pecan pie, you know, like the gravy, mashed potatoes, rolls? What is your Thanksgiving look like? Because my Thanksgiving is totally different from like the typical Thanksgiving. So let me tell you, my Thanksgiving consists of mole. If you don't know what mole is, it's basically, it's like chicken with kind of like a sauce that it's kind of sweet, but also like bittersweet, you know? And then there's tamales, champurrado, and like all that stuff. And I was thinking about it and I was like, wow, like, my Thanksgiving is so different from everyone's Thanksgiving. Like, it's not like the typical Thanksgiving that everyone has. So let me know, for your Thanksgiving, what do you eat? Like, what kind of food do you eat for your Thanksgiving? Let me know. Okay, I'm gonna cut the crease. So, I didn't show you guys when I cut my crease because it's just too stressful for me. Um, so I'm going to apply the color I'm gonna be putting on the crease, and it is Love, which is this shadow right here. In my original palette, I don't have it here. If not, I will show you. Love Hit Pan Hardcore. Like, I don't have any of it left. And I'm going to be taking Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush, and I'm just going to be pressing it on the lid like this. Yes, look at that. 
Que bonito es lo bonito. It's so pretty. Oh, by the way, update. The eyelid primer worked so much better without me setting it. Super easy eye look with just three colors. And it's super pretty. Okay, I'm just going to blend this out. Let me do this eye and I will be back. Now I'm going to be choosing lashes. And I have to choose between these two styles, which honestly, I don't know which one to get. And I had never heard of this brand, Flutter Lashes. And I'm obsessed with the packaging and obsessed with the lashes. I hope they're as pretty as they seem once you apply them on. So, let's see. There's this style here, and there's this style here. Which one do I want? Uh, does it have a style name? Oh yeah, this one's Shimmer and this one's Storm. Do I want Shimmer or do I want Storm? I think I want shimmer. Mascara. Okay, so I have the lashes on and I really like them. They're so just very simple, but they're also super fluffy and really pretty. I really like shimmer. I can only imagine how Storm looks. So I really like the lashes. Okay, we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. Oh my God. The lashes are so cute. I can't get over it. They're so pretty, the lashes. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I didn't get a foundation from Shop Hush or Bad Habit because I'm currently obsessed with my YSL foundation. So I'm gonna be using this to put it all over my face. So this is my foundation. It blended super nice with the primer. I just really like the primer in general. I felt really nice when it was on the skin. It was quite tacky. It smelled really good. And I blended the foundation really nice and it looks really good on the skin. So the primer, really good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, just my Maybelline concealer. I'll put some right here. Put some more over here. So how do I refer to this beauty blender? I know it's not a beauty blender because then guy everyone's like, it's not a beauty blender. So what I'd say, the Morphe blender. That's how I refer to it, like the Morphe blender. Because I feel like when I see a blender, it sounds like just like the blender that you use for your smoothies. So it's like, I think I'm just gonna refer it to as the Morphe blender. Okay, next I'm going to cream contour with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Chestnut. I'm gonna take a little bit because last time I got too carried away and it did not go good. Put some here. And then literally just like a tiny bit on my nose. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to take my Morphe Y11 to blend this out. Lately, I have been blending my contour, well, my cream contour with the Morphe Y11 brush. This is the best brush I have ever found for blending the contour. It blends it so nice. It just makes it look like it's part of your skin. It doesn't look too cakey or too muddy. It just looks perfect and it blends everything really nice, guys. So, oh my god, I really, really recommend this brush. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna do something that might take a wrong turn. But I'm gonna do it because I wanna test it out. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder on this side of my eye. And then I'm gonna take the bad habit to set this other side of my eye. And I really have a bad feeling for this. Cause I legit, nothing, nothing on me works that is not the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to pat this in to the eye area. Instead of baking, I'm just going to press it into the eye area like this. Then I'm going to be taking this brush, which is the Morphe Y7 brush. And I'm going to take this and use it to set the rest of my face. I'm going to go with the Bad Habit Loose Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade 1. And we're going to put it on the cap. It's okay, I was prepared for the worst. I was prepared for the worst. I'm gonna use it to set the rest of my face. It gives me a complete white cast. Oh, this is not good. This is no bueno. I don't know if you can really tell, but I have a complete white cast on this side of my face, as you can tell the difference. The underneath eye area looks, this side looks completely still full coverage, and it seems almost like this powder took away a lot of the product because it looks a little bit patchy on this side. Now we're gonna move on to bronzer, and I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this one's in light medium. It rounds up the whole skin. Oh, it smells so nice, it smells like coconut. It smells really good. I'm going to be taking the Mellow Blush, and this one is in the shade of Blush, and I wanna test it out and see what it looks like. That's a really pretty pink. It's not too visible, not too bright. Just like the perfect 
shade for me. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm gonna be taking the Amber Shell palette, and I'm going to be taking this, which is self-made, and I'm going to use that to put it all over the inner corner. A little bit more. Oh my god. This is so pretty. This is her Gold Dust Highlighter Collection palette. Look at that. Okay, let's do. We're gonna do um, late like a lady on this side, and we're going to do after hours on this side. Okay, that was one layer. Let's do another one. <gasps> Dang, that's pigmented. Let's do after hours on this side. Wow, dude, look at that. I think I might have gone a little bit too overboard. Oops. Let's do some on the nose. Right here. Oh my, dude, I look like a glazed donut right now. <gasps> One side with this. Am I missing anything on my face? I'm missing lips. Hello, girl. We're getting too over ahead of myself. Hold up. Let's take a step back. I need to do lips. Hello. I'm going to take this Bad Habit Lippy, which is um, a centerpiece. I'm going to take this one. And you guys are going to see how pretty this lippy is. I really like it. So we're going to apply this all over the lips. We're going to be doing the lip gloss from the Amber Show. This is Liquid Glow, and this one is in Daddy. And I'm going to put this on top of the lipstick that we just used. It's so pretty. I'm going to be glowing today. I'm going to be super extra today. Love it. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on top. That is super pretty gloss. So I applied the lip gloss, and honestly, I really like the lip gloss. I just don't think it's a good combo with the lip I put underneath, I feel like it needs more of a nude lippy, so I'm going to change the color really quickly. I feel like it needs more of a nude lippy right underneath it instead of like more of a dark color. I'm going to apply a little bit of more foundation on top of the lips. So I can kind of start with like a blank canvas. I have a hair on my lip. Dude. <gasps> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I put a little foundation on top of my lips just so I can start from like scratch again. So I'm gonna just go use my Dose of Colors and Truffle and put this all over my lips. That is a better combo, look at that. Oh yes, looks better now. I like the lip gloss, it's not too sticky. And the wand is perfect to get on the edges of your lips. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this Moder Lumi Dew Hydra Mist. I'm going to do half on this side of my face. Okay, now I'm going to try this one on this side of my face. Okay, guys, so I did half of my face with the one that has kind of like a glitter inside of the dewy mist, and then I did the one that's just all natural. So I really personally like this one better, just the all clear one, just because it makes me look dewy. And with this one, I feel like it was just a little too much since I already have like a lot of highlighter on. But I feel like when you were wearing like a bare face, this to just mist it all over your face would be great. So this one was my favorite one. I showed you guys all the products and I tested them out. Some worked for me and some didn't. But remember, guys, this are my opinions everyone's different so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys don't forget to take advantage of the black friday sale it does start on thursday the 22nd at 6 p.m and it ends on the 26th at 11 59 p.m so you get 30 percent off bad habit and 25 percent off a shop hush if you use my code which is linked down below in the description box and there's also links to go straight to shop hush and bad habit so take advantage of that other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and for today's notification shout out goes to Joanna. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you would like to be on the next video's notification shout out, it's super easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn your post notifications to all, and then comment down below done when you are done. And for the winner for the Bad Habit Palette, it is Christine. So congratulations to you, Christine. Please make sure to go ahead and claim your price. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.